dear beautiful souls, much love, like gratitude and appreciation to all of you. I figured I would take a moment and share some of my darkness. You know, because most y'all just hear about the light. Mm -hmm. We all like to show our light. I think most of us prefer to show our light. Hide our darkness. Well, here, I'm willing to share some of my darkness. My growth. Because most seeds need darkness to grow. Some light. Yes, majority though, in the dark depths. It's where the growth begins. Mm. With the most divine clarity and love and highest good of all, I share this. Questions. I. I hear a lot. I see a lot. I feel a lot. I have been questioned of who am I? And the question of where am I? The question of what am I doing? I think we're all facing these questions. I, myself, is still learning who I am. <clears throat> Coming into my true, authentic self. Not what society says. Not what loved ones, family, friends, uh, perceptions try to mold. Or I try to please, to fit in. Although I've never really been one much for that. <laughs> uh, rebel truly at heart. But the, the theory is on this. I am still learning. I am still growing. And healing from my past. But I have learned to surrender. Accept my past. It has no effect on my now or my future it is just that the past and that letting go and surrendering in theory kind of going with flow but letting go and surrendering and just being from my Oh, for self point of view I see a lot of humans having struggles on this and I too struggle on this at times but then when I'm in those situations where I am unable to remove myself from that situation or unable to change my viewpoint on that situation and it just seems to be always in that lower vibration. I've learned to surrender and accept that situation and see it as just pure moment. Pure moment. I've also been seeing and feeling a lot of high energies. Uh, most would classify as anxieties, um, anger, uh, stuck mentality, um, depression, um, lack. I see in a lot of humans. Um, 
it's hard to explain these lower vibes because it's just the same kind of in my world gook gooey sticky webby silly string type gook that attaches to you sometimes without even being aware and, and, and stirs the pot and that energy of anxiety and those lower bases but most of it I'm just gonna go with anxiety for right now <laughs> I'm, I'm having a flashback to the uh, Mel Brooks movie high anxiety <laughs> yeah good movie so, um, <clears throat> as in most movies <clears throat> and books, are there in truth of some underlying lessons of this illusion we are all playing out at the moment, for the most part, the collectiveness, and the rest are uh, holding that light and keeping that higher base energy tone for all the others and the ones that have already gone through this shifting awareness of the illusion aka matrix game we're holding that anchor of our reality our reality of the better world blah better world not better world just 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 different world because, you know, no, not to say that everything in this world right now sucks, because it doesn't. We have so much beauty. So many things that we can see and live and, and, and perceive, which is kind of cool in the reflection here. It looks like a constellation, but it's just the lights in the reflection of the window. Y'all can't see me, but if I do this... Ooh, I can black out the lights. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Hold on, let's do that one more time. Anyhow. <clears throat> so again, I found too much joy in my life to have these dark moments last for very long. So, oh, that looks like a heart. We'll keep it on that if I possibly can. All right. Back to the heart. The heart of the matters. Where are we going to start manifesting from? Normally, we were manifesting from our solar plexus. Sorry, one more time. <laughs> solar plexus, or our, our, our mindset, is where we were creating from. We are now starting to create purely from our heart space, that center. And from there, we can only create things from our highest good and the highest good of all others because our heart has no... Oh, see, I don't want to say that because it does. It, our heart has a shadow side as well. It has a positive and negative. There's two-sided heart. I've met... I've met... Wow. One more time. I have written many of poems on the two sides of the heart like our brain two sides we have a left and we have a right like our arms and our feet two sides we have our positive and negative where we're starting to fully create just purely from our heart space and I think and I feel and I know and that's part of our evolutionary shift. <sighs> treating each other as one wants to be treated. Treating each other as we are all gods and goddesses. And I would never speak to another god or goddess as I would before of other humans. I do it more with awareness. Not to people please, not to god please or goddess please. But just it's pure kindness and how we speak to ourselves 
are we still having that inner dialogue of hmm, black and not worthiness? Or are we having that inner dialogue of I am awesome and powerful? Hmm, see, that's a tricky word there. But, but magnificence, yes, better words. Magnificence, glowing bright with kindness and compassion unconditional love and unconditional forgiveness and from there we co-create that awesomeness into our lives I am seeing and feeling now that connection is stronger with the plants, the animals, the humans, Mother Earth, other frequencies of other sentient beings. <sighs> the pure awesomeness of it words behoove me for I cannot describe besides joy pure joy and that connection I'm seeing is more now as relations we're all related to each other. And I'm not just talking humans. We're all related to each other. In a sense, we all consume 95% of these things. We are also made of the other part of these things. So there is that connection. And if you take it on the more energetic level, <clears throat> heighten that it's even more amazing but with that -ness, I have to now cut this short because I'm trying to keep this as where I can have this as one video so I do say this to all relations much love like gratitude and appreciation to all of you we're all healing we are all growing. We are all in this together. So let's, you know. Just let us be. Eh? <laughs> Great Beatles song there. Or imagine. Imagine a, a world. Yep, all the people. Anywho. So, yes. Much love, like gratitude, appreciation to all of you. <laughs>